Hello everyone, this is Jianhua from CGTN and welcome to Times of Change. Hi, my name is Fernando and my Chinese name is Gao Fei and we Gao want to Fei. welcome you to this beautiful place where we are today. That's so, right, and I would like to start with some waves as they call Times of Change of course today indeed, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about fishing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I love your shirt today. That is nothing but net that <laughs> so fits the scene. Indeed, indeed. You did it on purpose. Well, they told me that we were going to come fishing, so I chose something that was appropriate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that All is right. lovely. So you came here prepared this morning. We mm -hmm. talked a little bit before everything gets started. So if we pan the camera around and you can hear the sound, yeah, the bell. And that's the second bell already. And today we're at this grand ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What's that? What's that ceremony then? Well, basically, is the opening ceremony of the fishing season. But uh -huh. there's a lot more details that you can share with us yeah. about uh, when it takes place, why it takes place, and why there uh -huh. is actually a ceremony for this. That's true because that is the start of a new round of fishing season here in East China Sea. And mm -hmm. by the way, this is Xiangshan in Ningbo in East China's Zhejiang Province. And over here in the background, as you can see, is a red carpet. Yeah. This is a red carpet, but not for the celebrities walking there. <laughs> well, it's interesting to, to see everything that's actually taking place. You see the red carpet going all the way to the water. Yeah. And, well, people are going to be walking. Uh, interesting to see those two uh, poles, metal poles. Yeah. What's the significance? That is very much like the gate to the sea, because that will be the start of the fishing season. As fishermen and the vessels will go into the sea for fishing. Okay. And that is very... Those poles actually are quite symbolically do something like this every year okay yeah uh, actually pointing out that this is the 24th yeah. uh, opening ceremony so this has been taking place for quite a few years yes and right. it's about to get started now let's uh, go take a look so we'll be standing here to give you the best of view like a panoramic view <laughs> of this grand ceremony in the meantime we're gonna have some live stream in between so that you can have a closer look at this ceremony over here. So it's really comfortable sitting here, chilling, oh, looking breeze. at the sea over there. And of course, watching this grand ceremony. And I think you can hear in the background, mm. the gong. Yeah, it's going on. Can you hear that? Yeah. Gong. What's, what's the call for? That means it is about to be the start. Yes. Okay, so that's the start. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they have this, uh, they have this opening lines. That's like we're gonna do this rituals to to worship the sea god. Okay. Yeah, but when it comes to sea god, of course, especially Western viewers, they usually think of. Uh, Neptune or Poseidon or yeah. whatever, yeah? So it's different names, different gods yeah. here, right? Is it yeah. a god or a goddess god. here in China? God. Uh, but that depends, actually. If we're looking at the, uh, like the dragons, there were four of them in the east and north and south and west. Okay. Four king of dragons altogether. They're in charge of the four seas in China. Uh -huh. And that is a little bit mythical, of course. And then so Poseidon or Neptune in the uh, Greek and Roman mythology and then... Would be the best reference yeah, for people is, in the West, right? Yeah, that's the good reference. Poseidon or Neptune. Yeah. And that is the start of this uh, grand ceremony over there as we can see. And also we can see... Oh, that is the, uh, the man who is announcing the opening of it. And we can see... We can hear the drumming at this point. Very yeah, exciting. this is very exciting, touching and moving later. So do you have wow, wow. look at that? <laughs> that makes sense. Fireworks. Is daylight fireworks? Yeah. Daylight fireworks. <laughs> I don't know if uh, our viewers can see that there were so many drones now hovering Covering over there. The sea, there were probably ten of them, and then all of a sudden there was the uh, fireworks going <laughs> off. All of a sudden, yeah. they didn't run like dust. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, so also, they're preparing now. Also, it's important to mention uh -huh. the different stages between the sea and the main stage. Mm -hmm. The red carpet goes uh, all the way up to the main stage, and there are teams of uh, performers on either side of the red carpet. Yeah. I think they are preparing for the ritual, for their part at this point. Usually, they would just start with this uh, grand offering of uh, three animals. And as you can see over there, as you can see over there, 
some people uh, show ring is something like a scratches. Okay. And on them the three animals. Okay. Do you know what they are? Uh, no, but you tell us. Yes. <laughs> pig, one yep. pig, a cow, and a goat. So three of them all together. So these are offerings to the gods of the sea, is that correct? Yeah, usually the offerings to the gods of the sea. But you mentioned there were also grains, offerings to the grains. After that, okay. yeah. So we have to follow each step they have over here. Okay. So that is a pig. And I think we can see that in the live stream at this point. And he is announcing that there will be five types of grains okay. being offered pretty soon. Wow, that is really loud. Well, yeah, they're bringing it, they're carrying all the all the way to this. Yeah, they're carrying the offerings now to the altar. Yeah. As they call it, altar. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, if you, if our viewers have any questions, please leave your comments on social media platforms of CGTN. Yeah, we Facebook, would like to know Twitter, what you guys have to, have to say or what you would like to ask us and we'll be glad to answer them. That's true. And now we have got some comments already. That is uh, Dustin Beck on Facebook. One word, okay, peace and love. And also we got Tracy Vanessa, one morning, <laughs> as always. Thank you for being with us. And that is uh, Mercy Wu. Hi, good morning, everyone. And also Carlos. Carlos. From Panama. All good right. morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. A quick mention to the change of weather and how lucky we have been. Ah, that's true. Yeah, we had typhoon just a couple of days ago. And actually. today, actually, uh -huh. a little bit overcast, but yeah. nice weather to have this live stream. That's true. Now we can see the goat. Yep. Yeah, that is one of the offerings, the three of them. Okay. They are carrying the animals or the offerings to the altar. Really heavy, as you can see. Yeah, well, of course. It's a whole animal. Yeah, the whole animal. And then they have this table, the offerings, and also some fruits on top. Which is right uh -huh. here where we are, aligned with us. Yes. Okay, I see some ladies in dark clothing. Uh -huh. And uh, what is their role exactly? Well, there's ladies. Yeah, are they the wives of the fishermen or? They are the wives of the fishmen. They are called uh, fishmen's wives or fishmen, or we call it fishmen's aunties or something. Okay. Yeah, that is what they say the local dialect though oh, and, and now we can the green yeah, offerings now we can see the offerings the grain offerings mm -hmm. do you know what are they five rice of them all together rice <laughs> make a guess make a wild guess rice wheat uh, but... rice wheat mm -hmm. millet okay glutinous millet okay and also beans all right five of them all together okay wow that one mm. looks heavy as well of how many course. people carry each one so five baskets of them, they also symbolize prosperity, bumper harvest in the next year. But that mm -hmm. is but those beans, they are very agricultural, they are not like marine culture related somehow. Yeah. But There's that's part of the culture another that has team been coming down. down right now. Uh-huh. Uh, these people they're wearing their <laughs> blue blue costume. Uh, yeah. yeah, it blue looks robe, a little bit blue costumes. Like royalty, is it? Uh, they will pay tribute to the sea, they're going to have the mantra or something, they're going to say the words of the lines. Wow, now we can see them. They were all together, I think, like two, probably two, probably schools of them. Okay. Like 20 or 30 people now, yeah, in blue robes, okay. and they will pay tributes now. Does the color represent anything in particular? Yeah, color, of course, it is blue. Of what do ocean. you think blue is? The yeah. ocean, of course. Blue is ocean, of course. <laughs> Ah, wow, that is lovely. Now we can see them going to the altar mm -hmm. and they're paying tribute and you see the, uh, the white Silk. the white scarves they have, mm -hmm. they're wearing. Wow, this is a beautiful view of the ocean. Wow, yeah, but I really love it. This is uh, on the beach, basically. Have you, have you anything like that, like in your culture? No. No. Not really. I mean, Not really. obviously there are certain traditions and certain ceremonies to uh, uh, try to hope for a better catch, right, uh -huh. for a better season. But nothing of this scale or with this um, symbolism. 
Yeah, basically something much more local and uh, uh -huh. smaller in scale. Yeah, and actually the ceremony started at the end of the 1990s, and this is the 24th session already, okay. as we said at the beginning. So it has a history of over two decades. Two decades yeah. yeah. Let's see what we have here. In comments. And if uh, our viewers have any questions, please leave a comment down here. Oh, there's a lot of good morning. May Allah guide them. <laughs> that is Salim Seeker. <laughs> So now they are paying tribute, and now we can see the goat over there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now they are co-towing, it's not co-towing, but bowing. Yeah. yeah. To the altar, they are paying tribute to the sea god. Mm -hmm. And usually the local leader will take the leading role. Okay. Yeah, to lead this ritual, to, to the ceremony and the rituals. And the music is really archaic. Yeah. Ancient. There's other groups coming yeah. down. And the people are coming down right white. now. In white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is the uh, announcer. So probably that will be the next step. Letting us know what is See? happening now. Okay. They're holding these huge incense sticks. Okay. Wow. And I think the incense stick, each of them is around two meters tall. Oh, and they're burning, I mean. Yeah, they're burning. Okay. So this is again another offering to the gods of the sea, part of the different... Uh, yeah, you burn the incense, and mm -hmm. so that your prayers will be uh, wafted into heaven, all the gods, you know, so mm -hmm. that they could hear what you have, what you want. Of course, that is bumper harvest and great catch. And safety for the fishermen and, as well. Yeah, of course. Don't That's forget, important safety element, is yeah. always on top of the gender. And of course, uh, for those who just have joined us, this is CGTN, Ties of Change, and we are broadcasting live yep. in Xiangshan. Xiangshan, <laughs> Ningbo, is a famous place, of course, especially when it comes to its uh, fishing culture over here. And they are having this grand ceremony, paying tribute to the sea god, because that will be... Well, the opening of the fishing season. That's is, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that will be the start of a new round of fishing season pretty soon. And there's probably some spoilers after this ceremony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some spoilers. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> We're actually getting on a boat that is going to lead uh -huh. all the different trawlers, all the different ships that are going to go out into the sea to start mark yeah. the beginning of the actual That will season. be something really big, right? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. every year. So they're going to have this uh, ceremony here first to pay tribute to the sea god. And after that, so they're going to go out to fish, yeah. literally. Uh -huh. So we'll be on one of the boats to give you the best view of this uh, grand view. Yeah, you gotta you gotta realize that these are actually thousands of ships going out to sea yeah. at once, so it's really grandiose view. So I've never seen that before, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've saw that on TV. I yeah. think like most of our viewers. But if you are in there, if you're on one of the ships, that could be a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now they are they are still offering the incense sticks. Okay. There will be tons of them, loads of them. Wow. I've never seen something like this before. Probably uh, none of our viewers. Let me see. Oh, that is a Robert from Canada. Wow, okay. impressive from a fisherman from Canada. Wow, Robert. Wow. Yeah. Robert is also a fisherman <laughs> from Canada. So uh, have you ever been to Canada? You live in I the US. I have never been to Canada. I've been uh -huh. in the US. Uh, I'm not too connected to fishermen uh -huh. or fishing boats, uh -huh. but uh, diving boats. But yeah, you, Robert, you will be able to see a little bit more what it is like done uh -huh. here, fishing yeah. boats here. And the Robert, do stay with us. This is only the top of it, the mm -hmm. beginning of it. And later, we're going to go to a fishing vessel. Yeah. We're going to go into a fishing vessel. We're going to talk to the fisherman. And then, of course, you can still talk to us. And, and you ask can your talk questions. To the if you want to know what's different between the way yeah. fishermen work and operate in Canada and here in China, pop yeah. your questions. It's okay. going to be quite different. I was once on a fishing vessel back in 2018. I was filming a story mm -hmm. also about the uh, fishing band. That's where the start of the new fishing season. And I went out to the sea. It was around probably three hours drive or four wow. hours drive. Yeah, <laughs> I got seasick. Massive seasick. <laughs> I don't get seasick, so that's going to be a positive for today. <laughs> and also, we have got 
He has some more comments that is Antonio, mm -hmm. African American. Ah, lovely. Thank you for staying with us. What is happening now? Okay, so they are offering wine at this point. If we are looking at the live stream, mm -hmm. wow, well, they're topless. <laughs> well, if you're going to so be near the they water, they are kneeling. Oh, they're kneeling. Offering wine. Okay. Let's see what they have. It's really beautiful. Yeah. It is not raining today, so I was worried actually this morning that it could be raining because the typhoon just left. Mm -hmm. So that could be the aftershock of this typhoon. Yeah, but it, it uh -huh. took all the clouds away and now yeah. we're enjoying a little bit of sun. So yeah. those guys hopefully... That's nice. They're pouring, they pouring wine mm -hmm. into the bowls and then they're kneeling at this point and later they're going to... Yeah, they're going to offer the wine to the, the sea. Okay. They're going to do it three times. And the first, for the first one, that is, uh, that is to, what is that? It's like the best of wishes to the sea, something okay. like that. That is mm -hmm. what they say. Ah. Hey, let's talk about that symbol, that character on top of the screen. Ah. What, what does that mean? That is G, that means the sacrifice. Okay. Yeah. Sacrifice, it, you know the Chinese characters, it is very much like jewelry. Yeah. So they have different uh, parts of the character featuring different ideas, symbolizing different meanings. So on the upper left corner, if you can see that, yeah, it is very much like meat. Yeah. And then on the bottom, it's like a table, the altar. Oh, pretty much what we're Yeah, what we right had here. just now. So we put okay. some offerings on the table. Okay, now they stood up. Yeah. They're so shouting. they will stand up, they're shouting. And they're like good harvest, good catch, mm. loaded with fish and the shrimps. Okay. Yeah. You see some people are walking down the staircase. They're walking towards the altar. Yeah. They're approaching the altar right now. Yeah. Wow. This stop somewhere midway. Yeah. To Okay. Mm -hmm. And we've also got Sir John, that is the NASA Sierra Leo, watching from Uganda, the Pole of Africa. Yeah, John, I've been to Uganda before. Yeah, I love your country. And this is the Vosa, perfect work in the world. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for staying with us. Thank you for watching, us. yes. Yes. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like button, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, now, so some more people, they are approaching the altar. Okay, it is so, everything is so organized, coordinated, right? They're kneeling again? Yeah, so they are kneeling again. So mm -hmm. they, they're going to do it like three times a set. And okay. now they are pouring the wine on the ground. So that is very much like the sacrifice or offering to the god or different gods in China. We have a similar China. tradition in my country. Actually. Oh, really? Really. When, What's that? When we are going to share a drink, uh -huh. we actually pour a glass and we uh -huh. drop a little bit on the ground uh -huh. to, for, for what? Yeah, to the gods, basically. To the gods. Like, hey, or those who passed away. So uh -huh. it's kind of like we are not alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then after that, to drink. Now we can see they are standing up once again. Okay. And they are walking. Okay, they are turning around. So I think this is part of the culture. Or they are leaving at this point. They are exiting the stage. Okay. Yeah. And they seem to be engaging or, or communicating with the people along the yeah. red carpet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are, yeah, they are, they are exiting the uh, red carpet at this point. And then, so they have finished the offering of wine, also the five grains and mm -hmm. the uh, three animals. Mm -hmm. And then that is basically what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To do the offerings or pay tribute to the sea. Um, what about the decorations of the uh -huh. the red carpet, all these flags, um, mm. any symbolism, any meaning? The red carpet or something? No, the, the flags along the red uh, carpet. The flags, they are, no, you can see the flag over there, if we can give it a closer look, maybe over here. Mm -hmm. So if we give a closer look over there, we can see the flags, and then on each of the flags, you can see the Chinese character you asked me just now. Yeah? Yeah, what is that? I don't remember the one, See, but it means sacrifice. sacrifice. Yeah, yeah it's sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Don't put me on the spot like that. 
<laughs> All right. And as for the different colors, uh, they don't now symbolize anything. They have uh, like the colorful flags right now. Mm -hmm. The part is, the most important part is, the point is the uh, word, ji. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sacrifice. And now that is not the end of this uh, grand ceremony. They had the offerings. And after that, they're going to have this dragon dance. As you can see, the dragons. Yeah, we see uh, people in, in costumes of different uh, colors. So yeah. I suppose there's going to be different activities that are going to take place That's afterwards. True. Yeah, they're going to be a performance. So, so in Colombia, or in North America and the South America, do you have anything? So when it comes to dragons, when it comes to this dragon dance, what comes to your mind must be China. Uh, nothing similar. We have something in the south of Colombia, uh -huh. uh, in a city called Pasto. Uh -huh. where we have like bowl dances, so uh -huh. people make this huge uh -huh. uh, paper mache uh -huh. uh, bowl uh -huh. heads, uh, but it's the thing that comes closer. We don't have the whole dragon mythology in uh -huh. South America, uh -huh. but um, we did have a lot of gods that we, that we revered back in, in the day. So that is basically in our culture polytheistic, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, have yeah. different gods. In China, it's basically the same now, but it is now it has been um, narrowed down or reduced to this culture, uh, you know, that they have been observing for hundreds of years or even I thousands. Should, I should of clarify years. that in my country, uh, we're talking about before the Spaniards yeah. actually arrived, uh, they were polytheists. But then, uh, in recent years, pretty much uh, mon mainstream religions, but uh, Catholic is the official uh, religion. Uh, okay. Well, we see some yeah. huge yellow flags. Yeah. So there will be more. They're gonna have some more rituals, as we can see right now. I mean, the language actually. What strikes me is the language that the announcer uses. Is this like um, seeing? It is very archaic, ancient Chinese language. Like. If you can hear sing Yay. in the background, that, sing, yeah. it means a stand up. It may stand up right now. Okay. Yeah. So it's a gui, it's like nil. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if it is like chang, it means it's done. The rituals have been completed. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. You know, weather is so good. I mean, yeah. after the offerings or something, I don't know. All of a sudden, like, the sun came all out. All of a sudden, we can see the sun. Uh, well, wow. there's more kneeling. Yes. And we have a GM Shinai. Oh, wow. Wow. Of course, this view I'm totally found. Ah. Wow. Wow. What's that sound? It's a part of the performance. It's a part of the performance. It's like okay. singing and dancing mixed together. And the shouting is... And the shouting and the drumming, as you can hear. Now, uh, we can see that some, yeah, we call them fishing wives, mm -hmm. now approaching the altar. They'll do their part. And this is the culture in East China, especially in the coastal cities. So in times of change, we have been touring around the coastal cities in China. And they, for the second season in the East China Sea. And then for women, actually, they also play their parts. That's interesting to see that women yeah. are very much uh, closely connected to everything that takes place in yeah. this area. Like the fishing activity. And they would mostly do the household chores, but in some of the regions in East China, actually, are very active. They proactively participate in the fishing activities no, in China. Not, not only supporting their, their husbands and the, the fishermen, yeah. but also taking part in the fishing themselves. Yeah. Yes. So in the past, maybe, they, they mostly dealt with their household chores or something after their husbands came back from the sea, mm -hmm. and they would do with the uh, you know, take care of the fish and the clams and the shrimp, so everything, yeah. they sell them. And now it's like some, some women, they would literally go out to fish with their husbands. Mm. Yeah, I've interviewed some of them before. Wow, now we can see, we can see the drums, this is the ritual. Wow. This. And you can see the tridents they are holding. Yeah, we were, we were yeah. seeing those earlier. Yeah. It's very emblematic of uh, mm. Poseidon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's <too>. right. <laughs> yeah, of course. That is why we would like to make a reference so that our Western viewers can understand what is happening. So basically, this is a 
the offering or pay, they are paying tribute to the sea. So it mm -hmm. reminds most Western viewers probably yeah. Poseidon. And especially now, as we can see in the performance, they have the trident, but they have tridents. Yeah. So many tridents. Not only one and only trident. <laughs> yeah. That is so interesting. Oh, you can see now they are doing this ritual. You can see some girls. It's also like praying. arms up to the yeah. sky. Yeah, it's very much like praying. And the hand gesture. They will kneel as well? No, the hand gesture. That means that you are saying, you are greeting someone. Okay. The hand gesture. You put your left hand on top of your right one. Now they are kneeling. Yeah, kneeling. I mean, it is not. I mean, when it comes to the uh, offering culture, it is not only in China. I mean, it's everywhere. Yeah, of it course. is part of the. Uh, I mean, would, I would like to say culture of humanity. Yeah. Yes. Usually, it originates with the unknown. So yeah. we try to, we try to protect ourselves from the unknown, and these actually. Yeah. go through the centuries and through time yeah. and transform into what we can see today we here. We probably wouldn't see the causal effect, you know, if you pray and then you can get what you want, but it has been passed down as part of the culture in uh, East China here. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is amazing. So I think we have a boat to catch. We don't want to miss the boat. Oh no, of oh, course no. not. <laughs> we don't want to miss the boat. We don't want to miss the boat right now. So. As we set, and we are about to go oh. into one of the fishing vessels, and later, after this grand ceremony, there will be this fleet of boats, mm -hmm. vessels going so to sea. So, if you want to see mm -hmm. us talking and uh, uh -huh. interviewing some fishermen, and then leading the proceedings the, of the opening season, then stay out with us. Okay, that's don't go true. Anywhere. Especially, I would call out, call out Robert from yeah, Canada. Robert. Yeah, Robert is a Canadian fishman. And then you can compare notes, maybe, mm -hmm. and then to find out what is similar, what is not. Yeah, of course. Okay, that is amazing. And of course, stay tuned. We're going to one of the vessels, fishing vessels. Okay, pretty soon. Sure. Yes, yeah, stay with us. All right. Don't miss the boat. <laughs> Thank you. 
充满了感恩和敬畏，仰望你如同仰望道德和信念，爱戴你如同爱戴眼睛和心灵。谢谢你，我神圣的大海。你蕴藏着无穷的宝藏，你是我们的无价之宝。让我们生生不息，绵绵有爱。我们为你自豪，我们要为你变得更加闪耀。感恩的心，感谢有你，我的大海。我的希望。这方热土，我们才给予生生不息；大海铸就了我们铮铮铁骨，我们才得以乘风破浪，勇立潮头；大海铸就了我们宽广的胸怀，我们才给予与时俱进，开拓创新。
蓝与绿融合而成的象山蓝，是象山人持之以恒、不变的美丽描绘。我们为拥有大海而自豪，让我们携起手来，善待海洋，保护海洋。系列活动，第二十四届中国象山开渔节暨海仪式里程。观众朋友，大家上午好，这里是正在为您。